Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Monday 16th, September 2024. Monday of week 24 in ordinary time. God loved the world so much that He gave His only Son everyone who believes in Him has eternal life. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. Subscribe to the channel to follow the next Masses. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to be worthy of celebrating this Holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sinfulness before the Lord. Let us ask for His mercy and His forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For you have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who, will ever, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, there is also one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this, I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth. I am not lying. Teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish then that in every place the man should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Hear the sound of my pleading when I cry to you, lifting up my hands toward your holy shrine. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I find help. Then my heart exults, and with my song, I give him thanks. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is the strength of his people, the saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them and carry them forever. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Together, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, 
so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation, and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But then when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come here, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. This is the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good afternoon to everyone. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel that we have for today, it is taken from the gospel of Luke chapter 7, verses 1 to 10. But this is also recorded in the Gospel of St. Matthew, it would be in chapter 8, verses 5 to 13. Of course, since it is recording the same incident, they should be the same. But you would be surprised. The narration of St. Matthew, it's different from that of St. Luke. And for me, it is something good. We learn more. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, it is the centurion who personally approaches Jesus and asks Jesus to heal his servant. While in the Gospel of St. Luke, the centurion approach the elders of the Jews and ask them, kindly go to Jesus and present to him my request. You see the difference? I say, I, I say it's good. Why? Because 
the version of St. Matthew, it tells us the importance of personal prayer. That's personal. While the one of Luke, I call it the intercessory prayer. Both are important. And you see, whether it is personal or it is intercessory prayer, it is powerful, it is fruitful, if it has the following qualities. For personal prayer, it must be said with love. Prayer said without love are simply wasteful words. They will not be answered at all. Why did the centurion present himself to Jesus? Because he loved his servant. He didn't want to lose someone who was really dear to him. And this is what actually he did. I love this person. Now I go to someone whom I know can do something for him. Second quality, humility. He was in high position. He could have just told someone, oh, go to him and tell him, I'm the centurion. Tell him, I command him to heal my servant. No. The centurion humbled himself before Jesus. And why did he do this? Because, third quality, he believed in Jesus. Even if you love, even if you're humble, but you don't believe, you will not approach that person. But the centurion believed in Jesus. And because he believed in Jesus, he fully trusted that this man called Jesus will be able to give life to my servant. So those are the qualities of a personal prayer. On the other hand, we have the intercessory prayer. Isn't it from time to time? For example, in my case, some would come to me and say, Father, can you kindly pray for my family? Or someone would approach, you're going to Mass today? Yes, I am. Can you kindly pray for this particular intention? That is intercessory. And in an intercessory prayer, it is fruitful, it is powerful when you know the one to whom you are presenting your intention, that person or that group of persons, they are trusted. Worthy. When you give them something, they see to it that they take care of what is given to them and they do what is expected of them. And then, of course, the second quality of a, an effective intercessory prayer would be these people to whom you're offering your intention, they are close to the Lord. I don't think any one of you here would approach someone whom you know is his first time to go to church. It's the first time that I've seen him praying. Of course, you would not present to him your intentions. You would have your doubts. And she will say, I will simply do it myself. And because the group to whom you are presenting your prayer is trustworthy, therefore, they are reliable but bottom line they are also people who love they are loving people they pray because they love my dear brothers and sisters i guess our gospel for today it is actually asking us to examine the state of our prayer life how is our personal prayer life? How do you describe the way you pray? How is our intercessory 
prayer life are the qualities to make them fruitful and effective present this is my word of life for you today pray with love then you will believe then you will trust then your prayer is answered of course not in our time but in god's time in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen prayer of the faithful with faith as strong as that of the centurion let us approach the lord and pray for the needs of the church and of the world our response is lord bless us who are unworthy lord bless us who are unworthy that the church in all places may consider no one a foreigner or an outsider let us pray to the lord lord bless us who are unworthy that those to govern our civil life may treat every person with justice and equality let us pray to the lord lord bless us who are unworthy that we may learn to understand and accept those people who differ from us in beliefs race or background let us pray to the lord lord bless us who are unworthy that the elderly the lonely and the sick may receive the comfort of god's love in their distress let us pray to the lord lord bless us who are unworthy that our departed brothers and sisters may be welcomed into the kingdom of eternal life let us pray to the lord lord bless us who are unworthy father of all peoples your son welcomed the faith of the centurion who came to him in humility and trust. Show us your favor as we make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, who are good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept this, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name, may serve the salvation of all. We ask you this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up 
your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through Him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Holy Father, and our bishop and all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters who died in your peace. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy, Lord, and bless all your sons and daughters gathered there before you, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father. 
forever and ever. Let us with one voice say the prayer the Lord Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this, this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be to all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who teaches us to pray with love. Blessed are we who will receive him in this sacred banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless each one of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and always pray with much love. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Sa Don Bosco, masaya. Sama, 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 sama. Thank you so much for joining us. Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.